Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode we went around and watered all the wizard trees from the Koroks. And this episode we are back on Great Fish Isle. So, Great Fish Isle not only has one of the withered Koroks up there, but it also has a traveling merchant over here. Yo, what up? What you call a traveling merchant? Yes, I'm just a cheery fellow who bobs between waves in search of all manner of rare items. Cracked and pristine, wild and wooly. I came from distant lands because I heard there is a treasure of great worth on this island, but I can't find a thing. I thought perhaps my fate would cross with that most mystic of rare items, the fabled Shop Guru statue, but it seems as though I am off the mark yet again. By the by, for some reason, looking at that delivery bag of yours gives me the sneaking suspicion that it might have some rare treasure hidden in its depth. If you have anything even slightly out of the ordinary in there, would you mind trading it to me? Anything at all? This knapsack I'm lugging around is stuffed full of sorts of wondrous things. Why, don't you show me what you've got and I'll show you what I'll trade for it. Well, okay then. Boy, wait till you see what I've got for you, buddy. Wait till you see this. Huh? That's... Sea flower, is it not? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this exotic flower? Well, sure. Most worthy. Then my fee will be... Oh, I'll give you a huge deal on this. 25 rubies will do just fine. Ah, uh, it's a deal. It's a deal. Thanks, that settles things. I'll give you your item as promised. Hold out both your hands. You got an exotic flower. It's a refreshing flower that blossoms in the tropical regions to the south. So by trading your goods for my goods, we formed a merchant's oath. As such, from now on, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Island Shop. How, you ask? Why, my good pal, the postman will take it there for me. So it will likely get there before you do. Just head back to Windfall and see for yourself. Thanks again. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Um, yeah, so that's one of the traveling merchants. We met with one on the mother and child isles if you remember from the last episode i don't want to waste time going back there especially because you can't just warp there because it takes you right into the mother isle where uh, we met with the mother of great fairies so if you want to see where that merchant is and what we got for it just check the last episode and i will see you guys on the next island Alright, so, the next island does not have a warp to it, but while we are on our way, this is the closest warp point to that island, I did want to show this off because I don't remember if I have or not, and we didn't really cover this in this uh, let's play, mainly because it's just kind of tedious and it's cool, it doesn't really do anything now that the Miiverse is not a thing. Because Nintendo got rid of Miiverse due to lack of interest with um, fans and whatnot. But the um, figurine shop is so pretty cool. House of Figurines, Nintendo Gallery, membership required to enter. So, uh, there is also a figurine shop in the Minish Cap. And that one is pretty cool as well. Uh, it's more of a, you just cycle through and look at the pictures. This one's pretty cool though. Um, let's see, do we have any pictures we can go ahead and show him? Ah, 
Ah, mmm. This is quite an interesting motif. Hurrah, I'm filled with inspiration. Please, permit me to sculpt this. It will be a jewel of a figurine. Figurine making requires love and time. You'll have to wait until tomorrow. I bet you're looking forward to seeing what you're going to get. Sure. Sure I am. Did I show him this one already? Yeah, I showed him that one. Ah, uh ha, -huh. mmm. Quite an interesting motif, blah blah blah. I'm gonna say the same exact thing I say every time. So that you know who you're talking to. Yeah, I don't think this one even... Huh. This one inspires him. But he's already uh, sculpted that. So. Alright, so that's pretty much all of them. Let's go ahead and go out. And we're just going to uh, use the Song of Passing to make it night and then day again. Or, I guess, day and then night again. Um... Oh wait. Do -do -do. So you have to play, um, I believe it has to be 24 hours, so. Go it up. Welcome, Link. Your figurine based request has been fulfilled. I know I always say this, but this is some of the best work I've done in quite a while. Go in that door there to check it out. Completely overcome with the creative urge after seeing what you gave me, I ended up making lots of figurines. But all that artistic spirit made me a little absent minded, so I don't exactly remember which rooms I placed them all in. Why don't you go and have a look inside? Alright, so, just because I don't remember if I've shown this off, I'll go ahead and go in all the rooms. Now, I haven't, um, taken pictures of everything, but I thought it'd be cool to kind of look at all these. Here, I'll actually I'll go ahead and turn my webcam off that way you guys can just check out all the all the pictures here
All right, and that's all the figurines. If you enjoyed that, then uh, let me know in the comments, and maybe in the finishing episodes we'll take more pictures and come back and have them made into figurines just to see what they look like. And if you didn't like it, then don't say anything. I'll see you guys in the next island. All right, uh, once again, we're making a stop, because on the way, I ran into one of the... The Merge sub Submarines. I believe we have a chart on this. Uh, let's see. We're supposed to get one of the charts from Beetle. The Submarine chart. We don't have it in this uh, Let's Play. I have it in one of my other files. Um, so if you like the Submarines, then let me know. And I'll go look at my other file. Find out where they all are. And we'll make an episode going to all the Submarines. So there's a platform chart. Which is, um, let's see if I can find one. There we go. One of those guys. Man, you yawning in my video, you jerk.
one of those guys right there. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of those, and you can get um, treasure chests from all of those, and uh, as well as these. So let's go and see what this one has to offer. Once again, if you enjoy this, uh, let me know. I'll make a video on the submarines as well as the platforms. So this one we haven't done because there's no ladder and no uh, open treasure chest over there. Basically the premise is you just have to defeat all the enemies. Those rats steal your rupees. Nobody likes that. Dude. Look at him. Rat, what are you gonna do with a rupee? You just like shiny things. Like most girls I know. Okay. <laughs> Probably was in poor taste, but come on. Like it's not true. Hey, we got an empty bottle. That's useful. Where's that last rat? Two, two more rats. Okay. Here we are at Bomb Island. Why is it called Bomb Island? There's no bombs. Well, look at the shape. Giant circle. Big old fuse. I believe there's also, yeah, there's a grotto up there which we'll check out. Is up, my guy? Hey, have we met before somewhere? Aren't you? Nah, couldn't be. Me? I'm but a poor traveling merchant. I travel the world searching for rare objects of all sorts, modern and ancient, foreign and exotic. My dream has always been to someday open my own shop, but plans have a way of getting delayed, and now it's been 30 years since I started. I'm certainly laughs at us all, huh? And still, day in, day out, rain or shine, I spend my days looking for curiosities and rare items. Which reminds me, that delivery bag of yours looks like it might have some rare treasure in it. If you happen to have something of the quality that one could put on sale in a shop, would you consider trading it? I have many fine products to trade. 
You have something you'd like to trade. Can you show it to me, please? How about this? Huh? Why, that's... An exotic flower, isn't it? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this sickle moon flag? Sure, buddy. Satisfactory. Then my fee will be... Hmm, gee, uh... 40 rupees, maybe? Thanks, that settles things. I'll give you your item, as promised. Hold out both of your hands. You got the sickle moon flag. This flag of a bright red crescent moon is quite fancy. So, by trading your goods for my goods, we have formed a merchant's oath. From now on, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Island shop. How, you ask? Why, my good friend, the postman will take it there for me. So, I'll probably get there before you do. Just go back to Windfall and check for yourself. Thanks again. You're welcome again. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Usually frame rates go down pretty hard in this, so uh, if I skip frames, I'm sorry. Oh, hey. I remember how to do this. No, come back. Ah, oh, dang, I didn't do it right. I forgot there's a different button in this. In um, Ocarina of Time, which is what the Master of Time ROM is based on, uh, the throw and drop buttons are the same. It just depends on if you're moving or not. And so that's why I threw it. Because I wasn't moving and I hit the throw button. Come on, dude. You had one job. Oh, here. You're both just sitting there. Oh my gosh, okay. Come on. Thank you. What do we got? What do we got? Piece of heart. I'm fine with that. At least we made a new heart container.
So I'm sorry if we dropped frames in that. If we didn't drop frames, then it means your boy's got a better computer than a lot of streamers. <laughs> Arrows, I will take it. Alright, anyway guys, that's uh, good for this island. I'll see you on the next one. You guys thought that the episode was done? can't get rid of me that easily. Way too much fun playing Zelda. Before I started this channel, man. But, for real, look at this guy. Oh, oh. Think that over there, there would be such a container. Obviously talking about the bottle that we got. Do it up. Let's go to Windfall. Check out our stock. Beetle, my boy. <laughs> my girl Natalia is texting me, trying to start an eight ball iMessage game. What up, dude? Why you're if you have anything you want to sell, show it to me. I'll buy it off you. Prefer to buy something. Blah blah blah. Ten arrows, thirty. Okay, I was I was like, why do they look different? Um, you know what? I am not even close to having all of the uh, sea shark filled out. So let's get some bait. Some bait, man. Thank you. Now you have thirteen points save up. You should try to save up thirty points so you can earn a silver membership. Oh no, dude. I forgot about the memberships. We gotta get silver, gold, and platinum. Alright, here we go. Okay. <laughs> At least we got the plot or the uh, silver membership out of the way. Oh, you saved up thirty points. You've earned a silver membership. We give a luxurious gift to all of our silver members. It's the least we could do. I'll send it to you shortly. It should be arriving at a post box near you any day. Promise me you'll wait anxiously for it. Next, try to earn our gold membership. Bye. And we will do that. <laughs> Probably do that in the next episode, because, oh my lord. So, yeah. Uh, obviously, if you could see, like, you... You can buy bait and arrows. You can buy different stuff, like depending on where you go to um, purchase from Beetle. By the way, uh, we have some empty bottles, and I believe we have some chew jelly. Let's go ahead and get some potions. What do you guys think? Potions? Yeah. Um. Oh, by the way, you see these? Place a decorative object here with Y, X, or R. Sincere good wishes will soon cover the town in pure joy. The Joyous Volunteer Association. 
So, uh, we got to put the, um, let me see if we, what we got here. We got this crescent moon thing. Yeah, dude, that looks pretty sick. Looks pretty sick. But, it is a pretty expensive item, and the way the trading sequence works is, like, we had the town flower, and then we had the sea flower, and then we had the exotic flower, then we have the crescent moon flag, and there will be multiple flags on top of that, and as you can see from buying them from the traveling merchants, they get more expensive as you up, and basically, the only reason you need it is, for one, the trading sequence, you have to trade the most expensive item to get the next item from the traveling merchants, but to get the reward for placing, because I feel like they should have placed more towns like Windfall on uh, in this game, but they did rush this game so that they could um, put it out with the release of the GameCube when it first came out. So, uh, like, you notice that um, Great Fish Isle, the one that we went to that looked like it was kind of tore up, the one where we got the uh, Crescent Moon flag, uh, and also the the Korok. It was the one that was, like, where you could get on that spiral thing to climb up, and the Korok was up there, and way earlier in the Let's Play, we flew from that that little platform up into that little hole got the heart piece but um, basically like you know uh, the wow what's his name it's like that you know the big the big uh, lantern fish or whatever that was hiding in the back of um, Outset Island Where we had to blow up that rock wall to get to him He was supposed to be on great fish Isle, and there's also supposed to be a third temple because we we went through the forest haven to get the um, favors pearl went through er Yeah, and we went through dragon uh, Roost to get the dens pearl and we're supposed to go through great fish to get neighbors pearl but they had to cut it because um, of time restraints and very very unfortunately because I would have loved to play a third dungeon before those last two that we had to get the um, the master sword upgrade and uh, we, we still have yet to do the ghost ship which um, is going to be really cool uh, it's kind of short, unfortunately. Uh, there's also a ghost ship in Phantom Hourglass, I believe. And that one is a little more uh, drawn out, which I really love. So, uh, look forward to that. My friend Tim Tableman is actually going to show me uh, an emulator that we can download uh, the DS games that you need the stylus for. Uh, after the, excuse me, after I record this episode. So, when we record this episode, me and Tim are going to download that emulator, and, um, I'm gonna start recording, uh, Phantom Hourglass, and then you guys will get to see the, like, official ghost ship, which, um, is actually quite fitting, because the, uh, Phantom Hourglass game is, um, uh, the DS game, but it actually comes after in the um, in the timeline. It comes after Wind Waker because you'll notice that there is uh, the pirates and uh, Tetra and stuff, and basically Link gets Link and um, Tetra, I believe, uh, both get uh, kind of lost in this like this weird timeline. And they come back, and uh, the entire time, it, it took like 10 minutes that they were gone, according to the other pirates. And they are like, we've been gone for months, dude, what are you talking about? So, really, really cool. Look forward to that. Uh, anyways, 
I've been rambling. Let's go ahead and um, get our our potions here. guy <laughs> for, <laughs> for a second there I thought we were all square but now it seems quite clear that you don't have enough what oh yeah you need 15 of these oh my gosh okay well I'll make sure we have 15 by the next episode okay uh, for now let's just get um, green Okay, so we have green. And I want to keep the see um you'll notice our 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 forest water is just plain water, which means we dump it out and now it's empty. Empty bottle. I like to keep one empty bottle just in case, like you you never know when you're gonna need it, you know. Anyway. Let's see how our shop is doing. Oh yeah, the girl that we um, kept from stealing that one time, she now works here. Oh, hi, we meet again. What? Of course, honestly, I'm working. How dare you suggest that? I'm done with all that sneaking around in the dark. In fact, I head off to a faraway island to work in the evenings now, so I won't be seeing you at night anymore. Alright? Well, alright. Now, you're keeping me from doing my job, so could you please step aside? This way to the only stall with extra fun, happy things for sale. Step right up, please stop by. Oh, look at her. She's like clapping, making an honest living. I'm so happy for her. Remember, uh, I don't know if we like talked to her at the beginning of the game, but she was like a really stuck up girl. Like she was rich. Her dad was rich, you know, so like she didn't do anything. She was really stuck up. Now she's poor and look at her. She's working an honest living during the day. And then sneaks off at night, not to steal, mind you. Sneaks off at night to a different island, so she must have a boat now. Sneaks off to a different island to work during the night. Good girl. Good girl. So, if you'll notice, look at, we got a town flower, we got a sea flower back there. We got an exotic flower, and we got the crescent moon flag. Yes, yes, young master. Look, already my shop has a wide variety of products to choose from. It is a cornucopia. Thanks to you, young master, every morning the postman comes with packages from traveling salesmen you tra traded with. At last, my humble saw has the appearance of a full-fledged store. Ah. My dear... Your unflagging dedication has strengthened my determination to live my life for the success of my business. Master, you are the savior of my stall. I must thank you from the very bottom of my heart. This is my most prized possession, next to my hooded coat of course. It's none other than the Zunari fa family treasure. Please accept it. You got the magic armor. Use your rupees to create a barrier around you that protects you from enemy attacks. You won't expend rupees unless you take damage from an enemy or other hazard. Set it to use with Y, X, or R. This is the only heirloom I brought with me when I moved here from my hometown. Well, including from that lovely sale you purchased from me earlier, of course. It's a magical heirloom, one that calls upon a mysterious power to protect your body from harm. 
Of course you can use it even when you are sailing the open seas, my dear. Please, use this to protect yourself as you seek out more merchants, I beg of you. And please, be on the constant lookout for new and exciting products. Not that I have anything left to reward you with if you find any. Oh, okay. Well, we just won't worry about it. Just kidding, we're totally gonna worry about it. It's cool just because you get to see all the cool stuff that we have. So, let's go ahead and... Whoa, we're going on an hour. Okay, um, I'll go ahead and do it in the next episode. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed, please leave a like on this video before you click away. I really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, or if you didn't see the first Traveling Merchant... It's probably because you're not subscribed. So go ahead and subscribe. It's free. If you ever lose interest in the videos, you can always unsubscribe later, okay? And if you want to get notifications for new videos that come out, hit the bell icon and click all notifications. I don't like spam or anything. I only upload videos. I don't like constantly do the community stuff unless you want me to. But I don't right now, so if you ever get a notification, it's because I uploaded a video. So if you want to watch the videos, you have to click all notifications, okay? And if you know anyone else that loves Zelda as much as you do, go ahead and share this video with them. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.